everybody, my name is Farmer Phil. Three stations for a robot that puts on the clusters. Serious lumps of cattle's effect, Farmer Phil. And in today's video, we are in <laughs> Bavaria and we are on a dairy farm and we're going to go see a couple of farms now. So we're just on the first farm here. Ify, you have Fleckfee here as your Fleck breed. Fleckfee, Brownfee and, and uh, Holsteins. And Holsteins. And all pedigree. All, they all have their certificates, yes? Yes. All pedigree, yes. So the, the, are the Brownfee then the mousy coloured? Like that one? Brownfee? Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Never, never, saw seen, a brown, never yeah. seen a bra breed like that they, before. Uh, they are uh, a bite in, in Algoy. But uh, it's a Bavarian breed. We buy breed. all cows. Sorry? We, we sell the calves. Yes. Uh, with six weeks, four weeks. And we, we buy the cows. You don't keep any replacement No, heifers. because not enough place. Yes. Not space. How, old is, how old is this building? It's from 2019. See the difference between like the, the Fleckfee cow, how much beefier or squarer the animal is. Ify. What have you done here? You have outside... Uh, outside outdoor yard. Outdoor yard, you know, we, we built uh, last year. Yes. Last year we built the outdoor. They like it. In the end, raining, uh, there are not so many cows outside, but uh, when, when it's not raining, oh. they are fully booked. No issue with um, mastitis or somatic cell count? No. Matic cells are 115. Yes. 115, that's very low. Yes. For a fully inside. And, and wire, the, wire and rope scrapers. Wire rope scrapers are very popular on the continent. Yes. So, Ify, for me, I was telling um, Phil the story earlier about this product, this solution, mm -hmm. um, the N26. So, you're satisfied with the solution? You're happy? Yes. yes. Phil, if we look here with the scraper going back. Yes. So it's just resetting now. But you can see on the blades of the scraper. The, the teeth on it. There, that's the best way of putting it. Yeah. yeah, the teeth will go down and clean out the channel. Yes. So that the, the, the idea is to get the water, but more important, the urine away fast. Yes. So that you don't, you don't have the production of ammonia. So we know that when the manure and the urine mixes, we create ammonia. It's a bit wet looking there now because it's outside, but if we go up further, oh, you'll see a bit better. The shed, yeah. yeah. See it there. So the purpose of the grooves on the mat and the trackway is yeah. so that the urine flows down into that and gets away, keeps the mat drier or the the, the I think it's the right word passageway drier. Yeah. And then the scraper then cleans all out with it, and it's part of a, a efforts to reduce ammonia emissions. Correct. Correct. And like. If, we, if that wasn't there, if that was just solid concrete, yes. you'd have the manure in a pile, you'd have the urine flowing into it, and that constantly creates ammonia. Yes. So there are studies to say that just by having this solution down, you can reduce up to 30% 30, up to 30 less ammonia. Two then massive bonuses. So you can see this cow's hoof here now yeah. is going to be drier. Yes. Because whether it is water or urine, it's gone from it faster. And then, of course, it's softer. Yeah. So when you, like, I always tell the story on my, on my travels that what we're trying to do in these barns where the cows are indoors all the time, so we're trying to make it like, almost like the pasture at home. Yes. When you have a dry field at home with a lovely mat of grass, so there's nothing more comfortable for any cattle. Yes. So we're trying to do that instead of concrete. And when you have more comfort under them, you'll have more production, you'll have more heat activity. So it just continues, you know, on and on. It's great to see the, the, the fleck feed cow, like, I yeah. rarely, rarely had ever seen them, but they're such a big, you know, square lump of a cow. Harrison to to the Holsteins or that, just great frame. And we know from having calves off Fleckfees before, um, they're they're serious lumps of calves. Like, like, would you would you like to see more Fleckfee used yeah. in Ireland? Yeah, yeah. I think there's great potential there for the likes of the Fleckfee to maybe be brought in or part of the breeding program of the dairy herd to increase the beef quality of the cow without compromising milk production that much and yeah. producing that better quality calf that people like me can make a better use out of. We've had a few, I think we had 10 one year or 12 one year and they were super calves. One thing in Ireland though, they don't actually recognise the Fleck fee as a breed, they're a cemental. Oh. On the car, they're all down as SI. Are oh, you serious? They are very, very good. Like, we got on very well with them that time. Oh, live, live. 
Oh, and the rubber blade is from Hoover. <laughs> right, you need that. What do you need? The, the yoke for pushing in. Oh yeah. The... Oh yeah. You need that shiny floor. I suppose days like that, as you said, different ground suits different types of cattle. Yeah. You're on heavier, softer ground. You prefer the lighter animal, but if you're on good free draining soil, weight doesn't really matter, I suppose. Come back to the mattress there. So do you see the, the, the that was the brisket board I was telling yes. you earlier. So that's a agroplastics out of Canada product. Stops them from going too far in. Too far in, yeah. yeah. We should go down this end, we might see the robots. Yeah. So if you, you like your, uh, you like the robots? Yes, I the like. The milking robots? Yes. Not every day, but most. <laughs> 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 Not every night. <laughs> So they'll be uh, work, as long as they work for Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many robots? One or two? Uh, one robot with three boxes. It's one robot who drives from one box to the other, you will see it. Oh, okay. It's a Gia MI1. They Never. Don't, they don't build it anymore. So the cows, would they be milked three times a day or four times uh, a day or 2. twice? 2.5. 2.5 on 2 .5 average. And, and average, uh, at the moment, there are 30 litres. 30 litres on average. Yes. And all year round milking, all the time milking. Yes. Uh, yeah. One robot, it's one arm. Yes. And he drives from one box to the other. Oh. And the camera is at this, at the front of this arm. Yes. And it leaves the box when the cow is uh, milking. It puts on, it's three stations, but a robot that puts on the clusters. And there's a set of clusters for each station, yeah. Yeah, yeah totally different. Cow after coming in there now. One at a time, one teat at a time. Yes, and they clean uh, the they clean the the other in the teat. Oh, and then they start to milk. Yes. So they have only put on one time. All oh, right. And first it's it's clean and then it starts then to milk. start milking. Yeah. I I, <laughs> I I didn't even know they made anything like this. Okay, and here you can you can look. This is uh, the milk yield. Yes. And it's. It's uh, the, the average milk feed per cow and day, 2.5, uh, 4, 2.3 milking Oh, milking per day, per day. yes, per day. yes, yes. And that's today because... Yes, uh, I... It's milking away. Don't, uh, Gia is, uh, doesn't produce this robot anymore. Oh, doesn't? They, they produce uh, the monobox. Right. Because it's um, another, a little bit um, other system. It's yes. the same system they have in the in the carousel. Yes. Mostly with uh, <coughs> five boxes. You can have oh, five boxes. up to five boxes yeah. with the one arm. Yes. Uh, you can only milk then 50 cows per box because uh, it takes time. The eye to, for the arm to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it uh, it was uh, cheaper than three robots. Uh, than three robots. How many cows are you making? Uh, already 160. When oh, it's fi finished drawing a quarter, it just drops so the off. the cows mm -hmm. have to... They walk in here, yes. they get recognized, yeah. I think somewhere there. Yeah. And if, if it's okay, they turn right and yes. they go to the Into wedding the, area. Yes. And if it's not okay, they turn left and go back, back out. to the... Yeah. So then there's no cows that shouldn't be in there, in there? Yeah, correct. Yes. You're afraid to put me back near that with all the buttons on it. So we just have one of the fleck feed cows in front of us there and they finished one quarter. Yeah, yeah, this is a stimulus cat. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Coming up. She's on 14.7 litres there currently and still going. 14.8. Be interesting to see where she finishes out because a great lump of size of a cow and she's a great bag of milk on her. Hi. Yeah, yeah. 15 and a half. That's it. 16 litres. So the fleck feed cow just finished there at 16 litres of milk. <laughs> in this region are the 
the fresh calves, cows, uh, the cows who are sick, and the cows who can't. Uh, you have to milk from hand. They are separated here. And when, when the veterinary comes, or we have to insane, select the cows, and then we can fix them. The calving in these boxes. Yes. Uh, um, in the, uh, normal, there are not so many cows inside because actually. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're, you're building a bit. <laughs> and this is from today? Just today. Just today. <laughs> He's a lovely, ch like, square yeah. calf, yeah. like, chunky boy. That would be a uh, flag fee. It's, it's, it's or is that? Flag fee and uh, blue white Belgium. Oh, Belgian. Belgian. We are all in the yes. same with Belgian. Oh, okay. Oh, oh so oh. Algerton is it Belgian blue? Yes. That's your fleck for Belgian blue. Very square, like look at the neck, yeah. like a real chunky neck on them. Yeah. So you can you can clean it very, very easy. Yeah, totally different kind of uh, shed altogether, isn't it? It's the real... <laughs> Lovely. Chunky calves, aren't they? This is a uh, whole sign with uh, blue. Yes. Oh, we, oh, <laughs> and this is this is a flag fee uh, because it was uh, um, we buy the cow and she was oh in calf. Yes. So that's that's your pedigree flag fee calf. <laughs> so that's just to show anyone who's interested. That's the kind of calf pedigree flag fee, and that's a dairy breed. Like that's <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Lovely square bit of a calf. Now, at this place, because we uh, repair yeah. the yes. barn. <laughs> Another set for a diet feeder. Yeah. Just chilling. Happy. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we can we can uh, do them in this uh, barn next week. And because there are uh, three kilo uh, sh stroh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, straw. Yeah. Straw, straw in the ration, and we made um, meal about the straw. Looks like that. Oh, you uh, like shred it. Yes. yes. Because uh, they, it mix. It, you can better mix it. Yes. And you have no rest, so it looks like that. Yes. They can select the straw. I they can't p they eat everything else and leave straw behind. And uh, when um, the straw is not milled, they select the straw Still. because it's too much straw. Yes. Yeah. So, we're just finished the tour here. I just want to say a big thanks to Efi for showing us around and sharing information about their farm and their setup. Uh, very interesting, especially the robot. Never seen anything like that before. Still be raving about that tomorrow, but yeah. Big th thanks for showing us around and sharing information with us. It's great to see it and see different because like, you don't see some of these things at home. Okay. It's a totally different, it's yeah. totally different way of, well, maybe not totally different, but it's a different way of doing things. So it's great to see. So big thanks again and um, hope everyone has enjoyed it so far. We're in Germany at the minute and they're pouring concrete at home and Father Phil is keeping an eye on them through the camera. Well, just talk about to have a look and it's just the same as you were down the road. So yeah, it's pretty mad so it is. So we're just on another farm here in Bavaria. So 65 cows. 65 cows. 65 cows. All 100% flex. Oh, there is one black one. <laughs> one day. One, one, one day, yeah. <laughs> And we we installed the uh, so-called 6GS, like the 6 millimeters top cover, and then a um, 40 millimeters latex. Oh. Aye, the, the, four, the the mattress then underneath. Yes, correct. Yeah. Full wood as well. Oh, full wood uh, mm -hmm. pusher. Mm -hmm. Three years. This one is working here. Oh, okay. Every two to three hours, this one pushes in. Yeah, pushes in. But the, the average liters per cow? Eight and a half thousand to nine thousand liters yes. per cow. Per cow, yeah. Do you breed all then 100% fleck fee or on Belgian blue or? In an Achtzucht? No, normal, immer nur fleck fee. 100% flick feet. All flick feet. Young cattle. All yeah. is immer alles flick feet. That's all 100% flick feet. Flick feet, yeah. Young cattle. And mm -hmm. you keep your own replacements? Almost everything. <laughs> yeah. This one, it was... The old. One bud is inside, one bud is done. Keep your fodder above and you see the squares then to yeah. drop down your hay, down to feed your cattle in the passageway. There's serious lumps of cattle to flick. There's an old phantom. Yeah. 
Wir sagen mal 8, 8, 9 Jahre, wenn es die Arbeit <lacht> Ja, und was ist das? Das ist schon Ja, ja klar. Schon klar. Ja, ist ein ja, ganzer Typ von viel Scheiß drin. Ja, ja. ja. Scheiße, Landes. Und das waren nur noch mal 2,7. Just, uh, just knows what we're walking out. See them on ah, the cafeteria. So. The fiends, the <laughs> hay and straw. That's a handy way of feeding them, isn't yeah. it? Individual stars, no one's going to be being another. Yeah, yeah, it's so five, six months. Five, six months. Just after school, yeah, for me. Just after the first six months, I've been doing. Yeah. How you like that? Lovely. Is that okay? You like it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely yeah. stuff. Okay. Oh, these are bulls. Yeah, bulls. Oh, you feed two beef then? Yes. <laughs> yeah. What kind of uh, weights would you uh, slaughter at? We uh, would kilo handy when it's off. We would up give. Yeah. Five hundred. Between 400 and 500 kilos. Between kilo. 4 and uh, 4 and 500 kilos. Uh, Fleisch or what? Like carcass. Meat. Oh, meat. 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 So the animal itself, it's 800. 800 kilos in 20 months, 24 months. Uh, Wait. Between 18 and 20. 18 to 20 months. That's, that's serious weight. That's huge, huge weight. But then that's, that's intensive feed.